Hey everyone! So I wanted you guys to have some instruments that you can use at home to play along with some of our music videos. So I thought today we could make some egg shakers. So Easter is coming up and you may have some of these hanging around the house, little plastic eggs. These are the perfect thing to make little tiny maracas out of. So all you'll need is some eggs and maybe some rice. If you don't have rice, you can use peanuts or beans or beads, um, anything that's gonna move around and shake inside the egg shaker. You want something that has a lot of small pieces and that's hard. So I like rice the best, so I'm gonna put rice inside of mine. I like the way it sounds. Um, and the nice thing is you don't need a whole lot of rice or whatever you're putting inside. You just need a little bit, just enough so that you can hear it inside of your container. So I'm just gonna put enough to fill the bottom, the small part of the egg. And then I'm gonna close it. And I'm pretty well done here. But I wanna make sure that my egg shaker does not break open so I get rice everywhere, because that would be bad. So I'm gonna take some duct tape and tape around the seam of my egg so that it doesn't break open. Okay, so I've taped along the seam. And I'm just gonna wrap that tape around. Ooh, I have enough to go around twice. Okay. And there you go, an egg shaker. If you don't have any plastic eggs at home, don't worry. There are so many things you can use to make your maraca. Um, you're still gonna need something to put inside like rice or peanuts or beans or beads, um, but you can use any type of container. You could use an empty can, an empty peanut butter jar, an empty water bottle, anything that has a top, and is open in the middle. Um, you can even use a paper towel roll. And I will show you guys next how to make an egg shaker out of a paper towel roll. So we've got a paper towel roll. You can also use a toilet paper roll. I happen to have a paper towel roll. Um, and this is a little long, so I'm gonna cut it in half. So to make this work, we're gonna need to cover the top and the bottom. And there are a lot of different ways you can do this. The way I'm gonna do it today so I'm gonna use my handy dandy tape to cover it up. Now you don't have to use duct tape. You can use any type of tape that you have lying around the house. Masking tape, scotch tape, you name it. Okay. So now we've got one closed end, you can see? We're ready to put our stuff inside. I'm gonna use peanuts this time. It's gonna make a different sound than my rice will. So I've got some peanuts in here. Time to close her up. And we're just gonna do the same thing we did to the bottom with the top. There we go. Closed on both ends. Pretty cool. And if you want, you can go back and decorate it with markers. Now we're ready to make some music. 